thing people don't know about manatees? The typical thing that most people don't realize is that they are distantly related to elephants. They really? always think they're wild, but yep, they're actually related to elephants. And if you look at them, I can see them, it. I can see it. Look at their muzzles. Next time you watch them eating, they move their lips like the elephant moves the, the tip of his trunk. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. So this is like an elephant cousin. Pedro, the manatee aficionado, but I think you have a more official term. What is it? The supervisor of animal care. It doesn't sound as good as this. Is that like the manatee aficionado? Yeah, I was trying to spice it up a yeah, little I, bit. You know, like Pedro's a hero. He saves manatees. How many manatees have been rescued this year? This year we've rescued 14 manatees and we've been able to return 15. Manatees have to be rescued a lot in Florida, especially. What's going on? Why do the manatees need to be rescued so much? Well, there's a lot of different reasons, Lisa. And it, everybody always thinks of, you know, boat injuries. They become entangled in fishing line. But there's also natural causes too. And the main one that we have to deal with here is um, cold stress, which is kind of like a manatee frostbite. Here in Central Florida, the temperature does get pretty cold. It can actually drop to freezing, and then the water temperatures are going to drop as well. Manatees are a warm water species. 72 degrees is the lowest they can go and do optimally. Uh, and once it gets below 68 degrees, they really start having issues. They like the warm water. They do like the warm water. Because if not, they're going to start getting lesions on like their, um, their flippers. They'll get it around their face, around their tail. And in some cases, uh, you may even notice one animal in here was missing a flipper, and that was a result of the cold stress. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can be severe. Uh, we'll go ahead, rescue them, bring them back here to SeaWorld, and then we become foster parents, where we start giving them, you know, like I said, bottles every three hours. Do you ever want to take them home with you? I tried once, but it didn't fit in my bathtub. You know, it wasn't really <laughs> all that good. So it's like, no, nah, we're better here at SeaWorld. SeaWorld, okay, they have this habitat, and there's a lot of manatees uh -huh. in here. But they've opened up a new section. Right, it's the Manatee Rehabilitation Area, and we just uh, opened it up to the, to the guests. We want them to have uh, access to see the, the back areas, and it's actually kind of like the critical care area, and that's where we actually do uh, the actual rehabilitation of the animals. Uh, oh, okay, so the yeah. rehabilitation area is kind of like a manatee hospital. Yeah, pretty right? much. That's exactly what it is. It's a manatee hospital. So the manatees that you see here in the exhibit are part of the rescue program as well, but they're all doing better. They're kind of just staged here. In the back is where the actual uh, process of rehabilitation happens. We have a pool that has a false bottom, which means we can bring it up, and that's for the, the very critical animals that we have to work on daily, whether we have to tube feed them, uh, we might have to flush out wounds, uh, give antibiotic injections, things like that. So we just raise up the floor out of the water, we go out, do whatever we have to with those manatees, and then once it's done, it just sinks right under them, and they're just nice and easy back in the water again. So guests can come and see them here when they're doing better or mm -hmm. in the manatee and rehabilitation they can area. Come see both. So we have a big pile of salad going on here. What is happening? Well, uh, manatees are herbivores, which means uh, in human terms they're vegetarians. They eat plants. The West Indian manatee or the Florida manatee the subspecies that we have here migrates back and forth between freshwater and saltwater. So when they're in the freshwater environment, you know, the lakes and rivers around here, they'll eat things like hydrilla and water hyacinth. And when they cruise out into the ocean, everybody thinks, well, they're gonna eat algae, but they don't eat algae. They actually eat different things like different types of sea grasses, like shoal grass, manatee grass, turtle grass, things like that. Here at SeaWorld, uh, the bulk of what we feed them is romaine lettuce. Each one of these animals will eat between six to 10% of their body weight. So, yes. Yeah, now, if you're thinking, well, it is a lot of lettuce when you look at, you know, some of the bigger animals. Let me see if I can get her over here. Um, she weighs 2,900 pounds. So imagine that she's eating the 10% that she can eat up to. About 290 pounds of, of vegetation a day that she's putting away by herself. I knew eating just salad was not going to keep me skinny. You see, and that, that's what I tell everybody, you know, it's like, oh, you're on a diet, you're eating salad, right? Good luck with that. Look at this 2,900 pound animal. And but, there's not even dressing on it, you guys. <laughs> this is not a Caesar salad. There's not a junk food that they like that maybe sneak them No, despite, despite, despite how they look, they actually are eating pretty healthy. But the goal of the of SeaWorld's rescue program is to rehabilitate them, get them healthy again, and get them back out as soon as we can. Well, there you have it. We have Pedro, the manatee aficionado of title. SeaWorld. That's right, your new title. <laughs> pretty cool. Thanks, Pedro. You're welcome. Thanks for coming out.
Give us a like if you learned something new, and visit bestoforlando.com for tickets. Then subscribe, because next time... Should we do the interview like this? <laughs> okay, I see if this makes sense. It's so comfortable. Yeah, not comfortable for us, but very comfortable for a sloth. Why they're do used they do to, that? They're used to living their entire lives in trees.